Yo guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm back again with another, with another GTA 5 Online uh, video. Now in today's video, I'll actually be showing you um, the actual new um, yacht missions, and I'll actually be doing a walkthrough on each individual mission, um, one by one. There's actually six missions, and now I'm going to be showcasing the first one in this video right now. So um, I'll just be showing you like, the best methods and stuff to do it on the um, on the first one at the moment um, and then throughout the night I will be uploading all the other five as well so all six yacht missions are up so if you guys don't actually have the yacht missions you can see what they're like and everything like that now um, first of all when you actually do start the mission as you'll see is the um, waypoint is actually on the land so instead of taking a boat I would highly recommend that you actually take the helicopter what it will be waiting for you on the back of the yacht as soon as you like exit the um, captain's uh, uh, part uh, and then it'll probably take you around 30 to 40 seconds to actually fly over to the, the uh, to the spot of the um, actual uh, waypoint sorry now i would say this one is probably one of the i don't know it's probably medium it's not the easiest one but it's not the hardest one uh, none of the missions are really hard well there's one what's probably the hardest but that's about it and um, this is probably one of the easier ones obviously because it's number one and I don't know about you, but I didn't really get the storyline to these um, yacht missions, so I don't know what Rockstar's trying to do with these missions. I don't know if it's just content to boost um, the people who are actually playing GTA so they're getting more players to come back on and actually have a purpose for the yacht, but I just didn't see an actual purpose around these missions, but you'll understand what I mean throughout this um, like series of um, videos we'll be putting up throughout tonight. Now, um, when you actually do land here, there'll be two people on a jet ski so that you actually have to kill. Now, all I actually did was just fly into them and actually kill them with, with the propeller, so I didn't actually have to get off and shoot them. So, well, I thought that was like the easiest method to uh, deal with them was just actually flying into them with the helicopter and just um, getting them off with the um, propellers of the helicopter and stuff like that. And um, so, yeah, that's probably the easiest method to actually kill the people on the jet skis. Um, now, it depends who you actually kill first, but I would highly recommend you do do the jet ski part first with the helicopters because like you can see here it is uh really easy but um try not get the helicopter destroyed because if you do get it destroyed it's just going to make it a bit harder uh, it doesn't really matter if you get it destroyed but obviously if it's not destroyed it'll be a, a bit easier really you can just fly to the um enemies and it'll be a lot quicker but um i actually just had to uh, just steal a jet ski what i just um robbed off the person and then i just had to um drive the boat over to the next people now this one's uh, not really hard like i say but um, it's just uh, annoying, really. I won't really say annoying. It's probably one of the easiest ones. It's a pretty decent decent mission. But um, I just don't get the storyline to it, really, and uh, stuff like that. Um, but as you can see, there would be a guy down here. Now you're going to want to do is just shoot him and um, finish him off. So uh, obviously it counts as a kill. And then what you're going to want to do is there should be a person down an alleyway. Now this person that's down this alleyway will actually be carrying something called um, the documents i believe it was or the collectibles or something like that um you'll see in the gameplay in a minute what they're actually called and um all you're gonna want to do is just kill this now if you do have a thermal scope sniper it will be um, a lot easier as well because you can just snipe him from far away now i was having some trouble with this because whenever i was here he was just ducking behind the bin so you might have to go a bit closer for him to actually peek his head and when you actually just peek his head then you can just pick him off with a sniper um, you don't need a thermal scope but i just find it a lot easier with a thermal scope but as you can see i do actually kill him without the thermal scope on but it's up to you what you choose like i say and um, oh no, that's what it was, sorry, the paperwork, not the documents. Now once you've killed him, it'll be drop something on the thing, what's actually called um, the paperwork, as you can see here. It'll be like a flashing thing on the floor. And once you actually pick this paperwork up, you'll be then given another like mission type thing, or order. And this order actually requires you to blow up um, like all of these boats, what's in this uh, boat area. So I actually did try to call my mechanic on this uh, mission, but you actually can't call a mechanic. So what I would do is just wait around until a police car comes, um, just kill the police, steal the car, and then drive over to the boat. Uh, that's probably the best method to actually do this, because um, obviously you can't call your personal vehicles and stuff like that. So as you can see, I just um, kill the police, what's just here, and actually just steal the um, cop car so I can actually just drive straight over to the boat, and uh, everything will be sorted like this. Um, so once you actually got the cop car, all you want to do is just head over straight to the um, destination. And once you actually do get there, there should be some bl uh, boat blimps that pop up on the map. There'll be like a red marker on the map. Um, it's not that too far away. It'll probably take you about 10-20 seconds to actually drive over there. 
And as you can see, when you do get close to the area, the boats will actually come onto the map. Now, what I would recommend to do this the quickest way is just drive around the edge of the um, the boats and get the sticky bombs out and actually do um, and blow the boats up from behind with the sticky bombs one by one. Uh, it's just probably the quickest way instead of actually getting out and blowing them up, up with the um, rocket launcher. So uh, all you're going to have to do is just get the sticky bombs like this, like I uh, say here. It will be the quickest method. And um, when you do actually get quite far around, you'll see that one boat is actually trying to leave the area. Now, if this does happen, I don't know if this happens all the time, but what you're going to want to do is actually drive towards that boat so it's not out of range and um, actually um, blow that boat up next so you don't obviously uh, fail the mission. Now, as you could see in the gameplay then, the boat was starting to set off. So uh, I didn't actually realise this at the moment of playing. I was carrying on destroying these boats and then I realised. So once you actually do get that... Uh, quite far around that um, little bend you will notice that the boat does actually start to drive off now when it does start to drive off like i say just uh, drive straight down here so you can blow it up so um it's just quicker and you don't fail the mission and stuff like that now as you can see as you when i'm actually coming down here i do actually spot this boat what's um halfway down here so what you want to do is just race straight down this um straight and then just get out of the uh, vehicle and blow it up with a uh, rocket launcher it's probably the quickest and the easiest um, way to do this now obviously if you don't crash there it'll be a lot quicker as well but um yeah so that's that and then once you actually what you're actually going to want to do if it's this far down where i was i just went to the very end jumped over the barrier and actually went over to the rock so i didn't actually kill myself from the blast range and then just shot it with an rpg there so that 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 was that um boat gone so i didn't need to worry about that escaping now um after you've uh, done that You'll have to go back to the area and destroy the rest of the boats, which is actually down here. Now, you can destroy these with rocket launchers instead of going all the way around. If you destroy it with rocket launchers, obviously it'd be 10 times quicker and everything like this. And then, once you've actually um, destroyed all the boats, it will totally lose the cops, and that'll be the end of the mission once you lose the police. So, um, after I've destroyed a couple of these boats, I uh, will um, just skip forward so you don't have to watch this whole bit of me destroying these boats. And I'll just skip forward to the end of the mission so you can see how much money you do roughly get, how much XP you do get, and what you have to do. Um, once I actually destroyed my other boats though, I just drove down to the pier and um, just waited here for a while to actually lose the police. Obviously you can find a different spot, it's up to you, but personally I just um, chose a pier because obviously they're cl uh, kind of close and obviously I was going to lose them down here. And uh, everything like this. So all you're going to have to do is literally wait probably 20 to 30 seconds. To um, actually lose this wanted level. It depends how long the stars have been flashing though. Um, while he was driving down here. But as you can see. When I do actually um, finish this. The uh, mission was just passed. And I do get 24 grand. And a couple of grand uh, RP. But thank you for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And drop a comment down below. If you need any help with any parts of the uh, video.